do not have a six pack, then it's either because you're not disciplined with your food, you don't train hard enough, or you just don't care. Now cut over to my intro. I am on the way to Alor Seta. It's a five hour drive from Kuala Lumpur. Got all my luggage in here. When I was 22, I was playing in Thailand and I was not so careful about my food back then. I was eating what I want, breakfast, lunch and dinner, having lots of snacks and I was around 80 kilos. I had a big fat ass back then. Yeah, and I did a, did a calculation and let's just say if I was 80 kilos and my body fat percentage was 12%, how much weight would I lose if I just dropped 2%? 8 kilos is 10%, so that's 9.6 kilos body fat. If I was to lose 2%, it would be 8 kilos, so I would lose 1.6 kilos of weight. 1.6 kilos is a lot of weight to carry around in a football match for 90 minutes. So that's why it's so important to get your body fat percentage low. Most professional footballers are six to ten percent so that's so important and if you do not have a six-pack then it's either because you're not disciplined with your food you don't train hard enough or you just don't care nowadays I'm much more careful with what I eat and my body fat percentage is very good so if you're out there and you're 20% body fat and eh, if you get to 10% body fat, you will be so much lighter, so much quicker. Now some of you might say, oh I need the, I need to be big to hold up the ball. I'm not saying about muscle. You, if you want to build up muscle, then do so. And you'll be able to hold people off. But fat, excess fat, you're just carrying excess weight which you don't need. Now how do you get that six pack? How do you lose that fat? The best way to get a six pack is through diet. Intermittent fasting I do. Sometimes I don't eat uh, breakfast and lunch. I, I really never eat breakfast. Very rarely. Just eat dinner. I control what I eat. I don't snack too much. Snacking is bad. And the diet is the main thing. Now if you want to burn fat through exercise then I suggest a lot of sprinting and also uh, leg work because the leg muscles are big muscles the biggest muscles in the body so if you're working them hard you're gonna burn more calories so they're the two ways diet and uh, high intensity activities and like sprinting and and, and leg work and you're gonna burn calories for sure. If you're a young player, that doesn't mean you don't eat. You're growing, so it's important that you take care of your body, but just don't eat too much bad food, unhealthy food, and you'll be good. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and that's why I say every footballer should have a six pack especially if you want to play at a higher level. If you're just doing it casually, if you're an amateur, then it doesn't matter. You can do what you want, but of course, it's always nice to have a, a good looking body, a strong body. So you should always aim for that and take care of your health. All right guys, thanks again for watching, and until next time, ciao.